All right, this is first grade, module four, lesson 25. And in this lesson, students are going to continue adding a pair of two-digit numbers. We're still not quite getting to that standard algorithm yet because we're really focusing on number sense and, and making, uh, you know, making sense of what's going on rather than just following a rule. Um, the key here is now we're going to add a little bit more flexibility for our students. Sometimes when we decompose, we're going to add the tens first. Other times, we're going to decompose and we're going to add the ones first. Why do we want that? Well, because the more tricks our kids have in their toolbox, the, the more tools they have in their toolbox, because they're not really tricks. That's the whole point. The more tools they have in their toolbox, the m better mathematicians, the more flexible mathematicians they're going to be. So let's get started. So as a quick example, we're going to start with 17 plus 13, and we're going to decompose it. We're going to solve it twice. And in both cases, we're going to decompose that 13, all right? And we're going to decompose that 13 into 10 and 3 both times, all right? Now, but the difference is here, let's do what we've historically, I guess, been doing, which is add the 10s first. So we're going to add these 10s. And so we're going to get 17 plus 10. That gives us 27. And then we're going to take that 27 and we're going to add in the final 3 because we haven't added that in yet. And that's going to give us 30. And that's, of course, the answer. Now, if we look over here on this side, and we're going to do that thing where we're going to add the 1s first instead of the 10s like we did over here. So we're going to decompose the 13 to 10 and 3, but now we're going to add the 1s. So I'm going to circle the 17 and the 3, and that's what we're going to add first. So in this case, 17 plus 3 gives us 20. Now I'm going to take that 20, and I'm going to add in the 10 that we have left over. So 20 plus 10 gives us 30. And you see that we ended up with the answer of 30 in both cases. Here, we added the tens first. Here, we added the ones first. So here we are being asked to solve specifically using number bonds. And they also want us to make sure we add the tens first. So keeping that in mind, oh, I'll write it a little bit bigger so that we can see 14 plus 21, and we're going to decompose the teen number, although ultimately students are going to learn how to solve the problem decomposing either of the numbers, or perhaps even both of the numbers. But we're going to decompose 14 to be 10 and 4, and because they want us to add the tens first, we're going to do 10 plus 21. And so we're going to write down 10 plus 21, and that gives us 31. And now we're going to take that 31 and add in the 4 that's still left over there. So 31 plus 4 gives us 35, and that's the answer. I'm going to save this one for you parents and teachers to do. Um, actually, you know what? Let's not. Let, let me do it for you. All right, so let's take a look at that one. So let's see. We're going to begin by writing that problem over again, so 25 plus 14. And I think the reason I wanted to do this is, is because the th I wanted to point out that here we did decompose the first number, 14, but here we're going to decompose the second number. It happens to be 14, but the idea is we want to make sure in this lesson we're always decomposing the number in the teens. And because we want to add the tens first, in this case, I'm going to add 25 and 10. And so 25 plus 10 gives me 35. And then we're going to take that 35 and we're going to add in the number that we have left over, which is that 4. So we're going to do 35 plus 4, and that gives us 39. And that is the final answer. So the, to recap this page, we're adding the tens, we're decomposing, and then adding the tens. 
Now here we're going to be still decomposing, but now we're going to be asked to add the ones. So we're going to start with 26 plus 14, and I'll write it a little bit bigger over here. 26 plus 14, and we're going to decompose that number in the teens. Now here, because they're asking us to add the ones first, so I'm going to add the 26 plus the 4, which is in the ones place. So that's going to be 26 plus 4, which gives us 30. And then I'm going to take that 30, and I'm going to add in the 10 that we have left over, which gives us 40. So the final answer is 40. Now, just to do that second problem down here, and I'm going to write it, oh, let's, we could do it way over here. So let's decompose that 18, because once again, we are decomposing the number in the teens. And so that's 10 and 8. And because we're being asked to add the 1s first, this time we've got 8 and 21. So we're going to add 8 plus 21. That gives us 29. And then we're going to take that 29 and add in the 10 because that's what's left over. And when we add in that 10, we get 39. And that is is our final answer. And that wraps up first grade, module four, lesson 25. We're still using kind of non-standard techniques to add two two-digit numbers. Uh, it doesn't require any borrowing, I mean carrying, because we're still adding the two ones place is still less than 10. But the idea is in getting the answer using this unstandard, non-standard technique, Really what we're doing is helping students develop number sense. Ultimately, they will be using the standard algorithm, but at this point, it's this unique decomposition technique.